Hi, it's Sue here from the Unicorn Advisory, your trusted Kajabi expert with a Kajabi quick tip for you. Now, would you like to have a pop-up that automatically comes up onto all of your main website pages, advertising whatever special deal that you have running at any time? Well, Kajabi makes it really, really easy with the exit pop-up. And I absolutely recommend having these going on your main pages, your home page, your blog page, about us page, all of the pages that are getting the most traffic on your site. And it's a really fantastic way to draw attention to the things that you are offering, whether it's a sale, whether you're running a webinar, whether it is a freebie sign up, whatever it is, the exit pop-up is pretty awesome. And I'm going to show you how you can set it up. So firstly, um, we'll need to know where that is going to go to. So we've got a couple of options. If it is within Kajabi, um, we can either get the URL for the page that we want to send it to, or if it is outside of Kajabi, you just need the URL as we're going to add that into the button inside our exit pop-up. So let's say that this is the page that we would like to add our exit pop to. Now it's right down the bottom of the page and you'll see here, you've got a two-step opt-in and an exit pop-up. Now, just so you know, the difference between an exit pop-up and a two-step opt-in, the exit pop-up is going to come up automatically by itself. Once you turn it on, you don't need to do anything. And it's either going to come up after a certain period of time or when someone goes to close the page. The two-step opt-in, you set it up in exactly the same way. It looks almost exactly the same, but this is triggered by an action. Say, for example, someone clicks this sign up now, or there is a button on the page that you set to go to the two-step opt-in. So exit works on its own. Two-step opt-in only happens when someone makes it pop up. So I'll go and show you the setup for our exit pop up. Now, one thing that will drive you a little bit crazy is you need to actually have this exit pop up. If you want to stop editing it so it doesn't always come up, you need to turn that off. Otherwise, you could come back onto your page and it will drive you crazy because you're like, why can I not close that? So you just need to come into Exit Pop. So if it ever comes up, just click on this X and it will take you to here. So you can just uncheck the Edit Exit Pop Up. Now, you can use anything that you want in these sections. There's a lot of cool things that you can do with your, um, with your opt-in. You can add an image. You can even make that image clickable. So you could just have an image. And when you go into the image, select it, then you could actually have the image action to go to a URL, go to a landing page, a checkout page, or even download a file. Um, I wouldn't do a download of a file unless it was something super relevant. I'm just one of the people who generally likes to get an email address first and then um, have the file available for download. But if you have a page where it's got a resource that goes with it, then that's a really um, helpful thing that you can do. So if you want to go to a URL, you just come in here and just paste in the URL. If you want to go to a landing page or to a checkout page, just like normal, if you're setting up a button or anything else in Kajabi, you just choose the page that you would like someone to go to. Um, or if it's checkout, you choose which checkout. So it's really helpful because you can send people straight through to that checkout, especially if you're doing a minimum viable offer and using a checkout as a sale page, you can land someone exactly where they need to go. So if you were going to do that, I would definitely um, make sure to turn this form off so we can hide that here and you could just make that image um, a clickable image. The other thing that you can do is add a different content block. So you could add a text block and put some text and an image. Um, one thing to bear in mind, I would not recommend making it much bigger than this because you don't want it to be too long so that someone has to scroll through it. Um, that can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. So we'll come back to our example here. And this is a little bit of information, probably even a bit too long, if I actually don't say so myself. Just, um, you know, a headline and a subheadline is probably all you need and then a button um, to go through. Um, but yeah, so you can go through and set these up exactly how you want. You can go then and customize as well the settings. You can go into the background to change the background color, um, the width the radius, the shadow, the desktop layer, all those kinds of things that you do when you are building a page, you can do within, um, within the pop-ups. They're kind of like little baby mini pages um, and set a call to action. I would definitely make sure that you have a call to action if you are doing text. And just bear in mind, it is going to pick up the styling of the page. So if you do not have a background color, like this example, the buttons are white uh, because usually the pages are set to a different color. So um, we'll just need to go into the settings, 
I'm sorry, the layout settings and we'll pick a background color. Um, I think this one was kind of a green color. So, you know, just make sure that your button is really popping against the background um, and set that up however you would like it to go. So we might just keep it simple and keep the image off and we'll pretend this was um, our promotion and the promotion was some kind of freebie for all the tools that you need to build your successful online business. Um, well, one last thing, we'll just show you these pop-up settings. This is going to pop up. Now, I don't leave it at the default of zero and zero. So what that means, frequency, is how often this is going to pop up if someone comes back to your site. So if someone was just on your site yesterday and they come back today, this is going to keep popping up. Um, if I'm running a really short-term promotion, like say um, it's a launch or the webinar is launching in a few days, and I'll probably will change that back to zero or one day because I want to draw people's attention to that every single time they land on the page. Unfortunately, Kajabi doesn't have the ability to not show it to people who have already signed up for something. So um, I do opt for that. But if it's a general uh, list building or a promotion that's running for a longer period of time or an evergreen, I'd usually set that to sort of five to seven days. This timed reveal, what this means is how long someone will be on the page before it pops. I do not recommend setting that to zero. That's pretty obnoxious. I'm sure you've been to pages where um, you're on the page and you've barely even had a chance to have a look at the page and all of a sudden something's popping up and taking over your screen and it can just be really annoying. So I would usually have that to be set to around 45 seconds. The cool thing with Kajabi is that if someone goes to leave the page, it will pop up at the time they go to leave. So you don't need to worry about um, it not showing in front of people. Um, but yeah, that is your exit pops in Kajabi. It's a really helpful way to um, you know, get some extra eyes on your promotion, on what you are doing, and hopefully make some more sales and get some more signups. Now, just remember one last step, click on edit exit pop-up, turn that off so that you can go back to the main page. This is Sue from the Unicorn Advisory. It has been a pleasure sharing my Kajabi quick tip with you today. If you would like more Kajabi help, please do subscribe to this channel. I do a little dance of joy every time I see a new subscriber. So just imagine me going woohoo when you click that subscribe button and you can get these quick tips directly into your inbox every single weekday. It's a daily dose of Kajabi inspo and you can get on that list at theunicornadvisory.com slash quick tips. Sue signing out. See you next time.